The next algebraic operation with functions that we need to explore is the composition of functions. So to begin, let's suppose that we have two functions, f and g, that are both functions of x. Now, the composition of f and g is defined as follows. So we define this as f of g of x. And this open circle here is representing the substitution of the inside function g into the outer function f. So we can rewrite this equivalently as f of g of x. Now we should make a couple of notes here. So in terms of the domain of a composition, we can say that this is where x is an element of the domain of the inner function g, and our function g of x is an element of the outer function f. So to help us better appreciate what's going on here, let's consider the following example. So suppose that we are given the functions f of x is equal to x squared minus 1, and g of x is equal to 2x plus 3. And our goal here is to find the composition. So looking up at the function f, anywhere you see in x, we now want to replace that input value with g of x. So we can rewrite this as g of x squared minus 1. And now that the initial substitution is done, we can go ahead and plug the function g of x into our composition. So this is our final answer. And we can see here that the composition of two functions produces a new function. Now what about if we switch the order of the functions? How is the composition defined then? So again, to begin, let's go ahead and let f and g both be functions of x. And this time, we want to consider the composition of the function g and f, which is defined as follows. So here, our outer function is g, our substitution of f. And we can expand this and rewrite this as g of f of x. And observe here, again, this time we have that the inner function is f and the outer function is g. So this is going to change how we define the domain. So in this case, we can say that x is an element of the domain of the inner function f, and that our function f of x is an element of the domain of the outer function g. And again, to better appreciate what exactly is going on with these compositions, let's consider the following example. So in this case, we are given the functions f of x is equal to x squared minus 1, and g of x is equal to 2x plus 3. And we're being asked to find the composition g of f. So using our definition, we can rewrite this as g of f of x, and pause for a cause here and look back up at our g of x function. Anywhere we see the input value x, we now want to replace this x with the function f. So we can rewrite this as 2 multiplied by f of x plus 3. So now that we've applied the composition, let's go ahead and substitute f of x into this. So we can rewrite this as 2 multiplied by x squared minus 1 plus 3. And to simplify, we'll distribute our 2 through, which produces 2 times x squared minus 2 plus 3. We can combine up our like terms here, our two constant terms, leaving us with a beautiful final answer of 2x squared plus 1.